A to the B to the G. We're gonna be talking about ABGs right now. Bounce right here. If you please. Come on, Real. Move on. Time to be strong. Don't stop now, straight to the top now. That's what I need. Alright guys, so once you have filled out your marching band suit of your ABGs, okay? The little buttons on your marching band suit. You've put your pH up here, your lungs over your kidneys down here. Now you're ready to type in the numbers. And remember, ABA, ABBA, and BAB, BAB, ABBA and BAB. Now let's put in the numbers, and then we'll make sense of all this, okay? So your numbers are 7.35 to 7.45. When you drop it down, you drop the 7. So now you have 3, 5, and 4, 5. When it comes to your kidneys, your HCO3, or your PCO3, you do a 22 to 26. Okay? Now, you're ready to kind of um, interpret the ABG. So your pH up top, this acts as your key, okay? So this is really your key to interpreting your ABG. So is your patient respiratory alkalotic or respiratory acidotic? Is your patient um, me metabolic acidosis, metabolic alkalosis? Your key will help you match up if they are. So let's say that your pH acid is somewhere between seven, less than 7.35. The question on the NCLEX or whatever will say, hey, you have a pH of 7.25, less than our acid. So we're already thinking acid. Now we just have to match up an acid on our respiratory. It'll be respiratory acidotic or an acid on our PCO3 or our HCO3 and that'll be metabolic acidosis, okay? On the other end of it, if we have a 7.45 and above, it'll be basic alkalosis. So we just have to match up for respiratory alkalosis or metabolic alkalosis, but really guys, our key up here if we have a match down below, will help you to understand and really pinpoint, is it alkalosis or is it um, acidotic? Is it base or is it acidotic, okay? So, let's give ourselves a run through. Let's do a little scenario. Your patient comes in for, uh, let's say, hyperventilating. You have a um, anxiety patient who is not taking their benzodiazepines and they just had a traumatic event, let's say they had a car accident and now they are hyperventilating and they're becoming very anxious and they're going <laughs> right, like a dog kind of their pH is going to be um, well it should be they're blowing off all their carbon diacid, okay they're blowing it off their pH should be Alkaloid, alkalosis, because they're going, ah, right? Alk, 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 alk. So their pH should be somewhere over here. Let's just call it 7.55, okay? Anything greater than 7.45. Now, since they're breathing off all their carbon diacid and they're retaining all their oxygen, they should be somewhere in the alkalosis state because they're hyperventilating. <laughs> elk, 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 alkalosis, basic. So they're basic, they should be somewhere less than 3.5. For demonstration purposes, let's just call it 22. Okay? And since their kidneys and their um, metabolic is not really involved right here, We'll just put it somewhere in the middle. 
Usually the kidneys will try to compensate since the body's so uh, basic right now. The kidneys are going to try to bring it back to normal because we want homeostasis. We want to stay the same. We don't want to be too um, basic. We don't want to be too acidic. So sometimes the kidneys will be right over here trying to make the body a little more acid. So if you get a question like this, you match up your alkalosis, your base, from your key down below. If you have a match, then you say it's respiratory or it's metabolic, alkalosis or um, acidosis. So for our um, critical thinking question here, your patient comes in with blowing off too much carbon diacid. There's no more acid in the lungs anymore. You have oxygen. You have a basic state. So their pH is going to be somewhere in the basic area. Their respiratory tract, they're blowing off all their carbon diacid. Carbon dioxide. Hopefully you guys are following me here. But um, carbon diacid, I like to call it, just to help me remember. So they're going to be basic, guys. Because now they're blowing off all their carbon diacid, keeping it basic. And they're going to be respiratory alkalosis. Because you're going, ha, 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 alkalosis, okay? A little way that I like to remember it. On the other end of things, guys, what if you come with a patient who um, has respiratory depression? They're not breathing right. They're breathing too slow. They're keeping all that carbon diacid, carbon dioxide, in their lungs. Do you think the patient is going to be basic or acid? It's very, very simple, guys. Carbon diacid, if they're keeping all that CO2 in their lungs because they're breathing slowly, right? Have you ever heard someone breathe slowly or breathe in their sleep? It kind of sounds like a hissing sound, right? Right? And you're sleeping. Right? So, I like to remember that as acidosis. Acidotic. Okay? Now, I know I'm making a fool of myself, but if you guys learn, that's all I care about. So, you're breathing in acidosis. Okay? So, with respiratory depression, you're going to have an acidotic state because you're keeping in all of that carbon dioxide, all that carbon diacid. So how does your um, ABGs look? If you guys have an NCLEX question, and that NCLEX question says, what do you expect your patient to look like? How do you expect their ABG to look like if they're having respiratory failure? Or if they're not breathing enough? You know, their respiratory rate is less than 12 to 20. You're going to have probably an acidotic state. So your pH is going to be less than 7.35, right here in this area. So let's say it's 7.30. Now we just have to match up that acid with one down below. Is it going to be respiratory or is it going to be kidneys? Okay? If it's respiratory failure, acidotic, okay? 7. Point, I'm sorry, 4, 5, it'll probably be somewhere greater than 4, 5. And we match it up with our respiratory. But really, we have to start with the key. What does the key say first? And match it up down below. So if it's acidotic, it's going to be respiratory acidosis if we have an acidotic PCO2, that uh, carbon diacid, okay? Now, how do you think the kidneys are going to compensate? Remember, your body doesn't like to be too much of one thing. It likes balance. It likes homeostasis. It likes to stay the same, okay? So, your kidneys, your, your lungs are in an acidotic state. Your body is now in an acidotic state because of holding in all that carbon diacid. So, your kidneys are going to try to pull back like tug-of-war 
pull back your body into an alkalotic, a basic state, okay? So, you'll probably find your kidneys to be somewhere in this general area, maybe even way over here, past 26, in your alkalosis area, okay? Just because you're doing that tug of war, and you're pulling that patient, you're pulling your body back into homeostasis. That makes sense? Hopefully it does. Let's do our last two scenarios right now, okay? So we went over respiratory alkalosis, our base. Ow, 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 ow. Okay? We're breathing, we're hyperventilating, we're blowing off all that carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, okay? We're making our body more basic. So we're going to have a basic lung. Acidosis. What makes our body acidic? I'm sorry, what makes our lungs acidic? We're keeping in all that carbon dioxide, hypoventilation, respiratory failure, not breathing enough, keeping in all that carbon dioxide. Now, what about our kidneys? What about the metabolic, right? What if our lungs are not involved at all? How will the ABGs interpret this? So I like to think of it like this. If you are alkalosis, you're getting rid of what? If your body is going to be basic or have a base state, you're getting rid of what? You're getting rid of all the acid of your body. Now, where does the acid reside in terms of your metabolic? In your stomach. That's why a lot of us get heartburn when our acid, our stomach acids, come up and start burning our esophageal tract. It's called GERD. So, if we get rid of all of our acid from our stomach, that's what makes us alkalotic, basic. So an easy way to remember this is if you're vomiting or have a vomiting patient, you can just remember it's elk, right? Elkalosis. Ookalosis. Okay? Ook. <laughs> Ookalosis. So your ABGs are going to be somewhere in the alkalosis state here. So above 26. For your metabolic. Your key now is only going to confirm if the patient is in an alkalosis metabolic state. Whoa. And it's only confirmed if it's above 7.45. So it'll be above 7.45. That's if we're doing alkalosis and we're vomiting all of our acid out of our body. Guys, remember, please remember, use your key first and then match it up down below. So our last scenario, guys, our last scenario here is all about acidosis. How do you know if your patient is in a metabolic acidosis state? Their body's holding on to all the acid, right? So what are we getting rid of? We're getting rid of all of our base. So what are we getting rid of? We're getting rid of all of our base. Now, where does the base reside? The basic, in terms of our metabolic, resides in our GI tract, usually our intestines and our colon. It has all of those um, basic enzymes that break down and metabolize and help us absorb food. So, if we have diarrhea, and if we are um, in an acidotic state, you are using your acidosis, right? You have more fluid coming out of your acidosis. So you can remember it like that. You're getting rid of all of your base out of your acidosis. <laughs> so your body becomes acidotic. So if the NCLEX, or your next test question, talks about um, your patient comes in with, you know, two days of severe diarrhea, you know, maybe they're going three to four times of diarrhea a day. You already know that your potassium is going to be low. 
you already know that um, you're going to probably screen for C. diff because there's probably bacteria going on in the lower uh, GI tracts. Probably going to get flagell or start the patient on some type of antibiotic. But what is their ABG going to look like? They're getting rid of all their base out of their acidotic, right? So they're going to be acidotic. But you have to first match it up with your key, remember? So your pH is going to be less than 3.5, somewhere over here in this area. And it's only confirmed if your HCO3 or your PCO3 is less than 22. Usually probably 19, 18, somewhere around there. Then you match it up, check for a key. We're checking down below if there's an acid. And if it is, we are metabolic acidosis because of all that base coming out of our acidosis, okay? So guys, remember it like that. Hyperventilation, you're blowing off all your carbon dioxide out of your lungs. You become um, basic. You're keeping all that carbon dioxide in, in hypoventilation. You become respiratory acidosis, okay? With your metabolic, if you're oak, oak, and throwing up all of your acid, you're going to be alkalosis. You're going to be metabolic alkalosis, okay? If you are coming out the other end, and you're getting rid of all of your base out of your acidosis, <laughs> Your body's going to be metabolic acidotic because you're getting rid of it out of your acidotic. So there's your ABGs in really a nutshell. Hopefully that helps, guys. I have way more content for you, all for free, at simplenursing.com. You can pick up your three-page report all about ABGs at simplenursing.com. Hope this helps, guys. It's that bounce right here. Time to be strong. Don't stop now, straight Let's to the go. top now. That's what I need.